I found my shank. That's right. Found my chef knife. Happy about that. It's lying, uh, lying on top of a cigar box guitar. If you can imagine how, how fucking me is that. Uh, anyhow, thank you for joining me in the Sound Kitchen Studios kitchen today. Uh, I'm gonna make a make a food bank video today. Uh, I've been I've been saving I've been say just like I was saving up the recipe yesterday. I've saved up this one today too, because this one's pretty special. Because it's it's very rare that you get stuff like this, to my experience from the food bank. So what I got was uh, I wrapped them up, but I got a bunch of these. Uh, I used half of them. I got a bunch of these little pastry shells uh, to make like tarts with, or, you know, butter tarts and stuff like that. These little guys, you par bake them and you fill them up with stuff. Uh, I used to have to, my last job, I used to have to make these all the time from scratch. And, uh, so, quite a excellent food bank item for me to be getting. Uh, I also got uh, some fresh potatoes. Uh, you know, so often when you go to the food bank, they'll, they might have some fresh vegetables, but they're usually on their way out. You know, they're usually kind of half... Uh, half rotten or whatever just on their way out or maybe they'll have a salad that expired yesterday that they'll give you something but uh this time they were had they had fresh potatoes and i think they had fresh tomatoes too you could have one or the other so i got some potatoes and uh and they gave me a little bag of frozen corn too sometimes they'll get like bags of frozen vegetables and they'll parcel them up into little sandwich bags for individual portions or whatever and they'll do the same with like snack food items sometimes too. So I had some uh, Cheetos uh, that I got, some spicy Cheetos from a while back. I've used them in a couple recipes so far. It's not often I'm going to sit down and eat a bag of Cheetos, you know, but I'll use them as an ingredient. And uh, probably the most, the pro the thing I got most excited about, you now being an old uh, Creole Cajun chef. Uh, this is kind of old school, Old Bay old seasoning. Uh, this is a really cool spice mix that uh, I've only actually found at one place in town, and uh, I really like it. I would always buy it when I had opportunity, and they were giving it away. The reason they I found out just as I opened it, the reason they were giving it away is because it's all caked solid and gotten moist on the inside, but uh, still tastes the same. You can still use it. It's just not been stored well or something like that but it's it's just salt and spices it's fine it's not moldy it's good I, I tasted it and it was fine it's just a little wet but uh so anyhow I, I'm kind of I'm doing I'm not really I'm just kind of go through going through what I used here in this because I'm, I'm actually baking this product right now because the, yeah, the video would be like an hour long but uh I took the potatoes all this stuff I got from the food bank. Potatoes, corn, uh, Cheetos, and some basil margarine. And a bit of hot water. And a, from my extensive collection, ramen seasoning pack. This one happened to be chicken and vegetable because I always have a plethora of chicken and vegetable uh, ramen seasoning packages. But uh, yeah, so I made like a mashed potato mix out of uh, all that. It's really good. I was explaining the Cheetos to my uh, my roommate. She thought, she said, you know, that sounds good, but I don't know about those Cheetos. And I said, well, think of it this way. This is the logic behind my style of cooking here. Is, uh, you know, Cheetos have if I was going to make these from scratch, uh, the same kind of thing, you know, I'd add some sort of cheese, some sort of salt and spice, 
uh, and some probably a stabilizing agent such as a flower of some sort, most likely a corn flower, just because that's how I do it. Um, so Cheetos have all those things already uh, in them. So if you smash them up and crush them up like we do, everything here, I'll show you. My leftover Cheetos in this old tortilla bag. I crushed them all to oblivion. They're just dust. But we'll use them. We use them sometime soon. But anyhow, um, so I mixed the, mashed up the potatoes. I boiled them in some hot water. Mashed them up with some ramen seasoning powder, some corn, and some Cheetos, and uh, filled up the tart shells with them, and uh, then kind of put a bit of Old Bay seasoning on the top. And right now, I'm just baking them, and we're just going to bake them until they get hot. This is coming along pretty good. But yeah. I thought that was a pretty spectacular uh, bunch of stuff to get from the food bank. And some of it is kind of unlikely. You know, like you don't often get fresh anything at the food bank. Maybe it's, you know, it's kind of time of year for excess vegetables and stuff. But And uh, pastry shells, Old Bay seasoning, classy, classy stuff. Thank you, Good Neighbors Food Bank. So, um, I'm going to pull these out and uh, see what we got. They've been in the oven for a bit now. Smell good. what we got tarts mashed potato cheesy corn cheesy corn tarts I'm gonna uh, put one on a dish here they're gonna be blazing hot but I like to show you guys that I'm actually gonna eat this stuff I don't really have a choice. Even if I don't like it, I still have to eat it. Because what I got. So hold on here. Yeah. See all that, that brown stuff on the top there is the old bay, the old bay season. Wow. You know, I could make these last probably for three days. I made a dozen of them, but I'm going to eat them all by tomorrow morning, I'm sure. They're really good. So yeah, sometimes you don't just get canned sardines and tuna and ramen noodles from the food bank. Sometimes you get interesting, cool stuff. So uh, this didn't cost me a single penny to make. And I would feed this to my children and they'd love it. And uh, yeah, you, and I still have enough leftovers to do this all again. I have another dozen pastry shells and more than enough potato mix. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me on the meth end of town. We're glad that we got the lucky uh, 
shank back. You know what I mean? This this does me well. It's a great slide for my guitar as well. Chef knife, pocket protector, whole fucking deal. All right, but uh, I hope you all have a great day, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, have a good day. Be well.